So with the modern farmhouse look and also now with the advent of a metal board and batten system, white metal siding has become very popular. You also see it on metal roofs in a white, but, but more so white is what you'll see for your siding applications. So what I thought I'd do with this video is we're gonna talk about white metal panels and we're gonna talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages. Also, we're gonna take the different shades of white and put them next to each other so you can determine if you can really see the difference from one shade of white to the next shade of white. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. The biggest advantage of a white panel is it's going to be cooler. It's going to have a higher SRI value. An SRI value stands for a Solar Reflective Index, and that refers to how much heat the roofing system will absorb and emit. SRI is measured on a scale from 0 to 100. An SRI value closer to 0 indicates a darker or black surface, while a value closer to 100 indicates a brighter or whiter surface. Most whites will fall within a 70 to 80 SRI. The paint technology is so good nowadays with cool paint systems, etc., that even dark colors will still reflect a lot of the sun. However, anytime you have a white panel, it will still make for a much cooler building, which will then translate to lower energy costs for you. Another advantage of white metal roofing and siding is that it's a clean and timeless look, but more importantly, the white panel will go with just about any other finish or color that you choose. And especially if you have white metal siding and then you have a dark roof, that dark roof is really gonna stand out against the backdrop of a white wall. The third advantage of a white panel is less chalking and fading. So the highest quality paints, PVDF paints, eventually they're gonna fade some over time. Now normally it's gonna be a slight amount of fading, but if you take a black roof and you look at it 30 to 40 years after it's been installed, it's gonna have faded some. And that's gonna be a lot more noticeable on a color such as black or red versus a light color like white. And when you think about it, even if a white panel fades over the next 30 or 40 years, it, it's just not going to be noticeable because it was already light to start with. There really are no disadvantages of using a white panel. I mean, the only one that really jumps to mind for me is that it's just a safe color. It's not a vibrant color like a red or a green, but again, that doesn't necessarily make it a disadvantage. Another question we get about white panels is, what does it look like when it gets dirty? And what I would say to that is, number one, it's, it's pretty easy to clean your metal roof and the rains will take care of that anyways for you. But think about the cars that you've owned. And I know when I've owned black cars, the dirt on black shows up worse than any light color cars that I've ever owned. At Western States Metal Roofing, we inventory three shades of white. Regal White is our most popular white and it's more of a bright white. In addition, we have this color in a matte regal white, so if you want a more muted look without the reflectivity, I would highly recommend you look at our matte regal white. And then our third color is bone white, and bone white is what I would consider an off-white. Uh, it still looks really white in my opinion, but it's got a little bit of a gray undertone to it. The whites that we discussed earlier were a PVDF paint system. Now, for anybody that needs an SMP paint, which is a, still a very high quality paint, just not as good as a PVDF, and it'll save you a little bit of money, we have a color called Polar White, and Polar White looks nearly identical to Regal White, meaning that it's a fairly bright white. There are two additional colors that are earth tones that are worth talking about here, and that would be Almond and Sandstone. And although they are definitely darker than a white, they're significantly lighter than a tan or a beige. So if you have a project where you want something just a little darker than white, but not as dark as tan, definitely look at almond and sandstone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these side by side with the two different whites so you can see the differences. 